नमस्कार इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंटीग्रेशन एंड दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन बिकॉज इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन दिस इंटीग्रेशन इज यूज हेयर वी विल डील नॉट ओनली विद क्वेश्चन ऑफ सी बी एस ई बोर्ड बट फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन टू इट मीन्स दिस टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इज यूज इन ऑल द बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया एंड डेफिनेटली इन मैनी अदर बोर्ड अब्रॉड इंडिया दिस सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स इज बे ऑन द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ एनी कंट्री और एनी लैंग्वेज whatever is the board whatever is the country concept of mathematics are always same throughout the world okay so here i will tell you by integration by substitution method in detail we will discuss some competitive questions too so watch till the end here let us see uh, one of the basic question how it works out and uh, what is the procedure okay then we will uh, deal with some advanced questions too uh, at a glance we see we do not find any formula which can be put over here that formula cannot be applicable here so what we try to do we try to put something okay we try to substitute something so that the question becomes easy suppose we substitute this value x square plus 1 is equal to something so what will happen okay here what is our purpose here our purpose is to simplify this expression as well as simplify the whole integration okay here we see that when we substitute this and when we differentiate with respect to variable x because here the variable of the integration is x so we will differentiate with respect to x fine what happens we get 2x okay and differentiation of 1 is 0 and here it is dt by dx from here we get 2x into dx this will be equal to dt okay now when we observe from this integral x into dx we can find the value of this expression fine right? x into dx this value will be equal to dt by 2 okay so x dx is actually dt by 2 so we will put this value here so integral will be dt by 2 and whole upon this term is t and t to the power 3 by 7 okay guys we know the property of integration all the constants can be taken outside so this constant 1 upon 2 will be outside this can be brought to numerator so minus 3 by 7 and dt is just an operator so what is happening here t to the power minus 3 by 7 we have the formula x to the power n dx okay we can easily apply this formula this formula is applicable for each and every real number n except n is equal to minus 1 okay isko chhod kar baki har value ke liye har real value ke liye ye formula applicable hai okay so let us apply this formula here so this becomes 1 upon 2 t to the power minus 3 by 7 plus 1 upon minus 3 by 7 plus 1 okay and remember whenever we do any integration constant comes that constant it can be c it can be c1 c dash okay it doesn't matter but the constant should be there this becomes 7 minus 3 that is 4 by 7 so 4 by 7 can be written as 7 by 4 we are bringing this term in the numerator this is again 7 minus 3 4 by 7 so this is 7 upon 8 into t and t was x square plus 1 So this is x square plus one whole to the power four upon seven plus c. Okay, this is your final answer. So this is substitution method. Here the integration was very difficult, and see here the integration was very easy. This is the beauty of uh, substitution method. Whenever you apply this, the integration will be easier. Let us see what can happen here. Here we have the expression in terms of log. So how can we do it? So first we try to simplify it. So log a minus log b, we know this formula. This is log a upon b. So this will become x plus one upon x. Fine. Now see, uh, when we simplify this expression, this will be one plus one upon x. Fine. So can we have this type of expression somewhere else? Here. Just think about it. Okay. This is the key to solve such question because every question will give you some hint. okay in my videos i will tell you those hint also okay those tricks also and many other uh, approaches to solve the questions okay guys so 
if we take something common from here then this term can be obtained and what is that value we take x common we have divided by this x and we have multiplied by x okay and this x was already there so now we have x square here this is operator dx now this same expression we have obtained now what will happen with this just see this is log 1 plus 1 upon x and x square 1 plus 1 upon x now what to assume what to substitute here we can assume 1 plus 1 upon x is equal to t okay obviously uh, x square and dx this will be simplified but if we assume this entire term t let us see then what happens okay so here we assume log 1 plus 1 upon x is equal to t when we differentiate with respect to x log of x is 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon x okay log x differentiation is 1 upon x now by chain rule we have to differentiate once again for this expression so differentiation of 1 is 0 differentiation of x is minus 1 upon x square and differentiation of t is dt by dx okay so next time we will be writing dx here okay we can always write dx here because of cross multiplication now this value just see minus 1 upon x square and 1 plus 1 upon x dx is equal to dt we actually have this expression here okay dx upon x square and 1 plus 1 upon x this entire term is there this minus 1 can be shifted here so this will be minus dt so this term will be minus dt okay this entire expression okay will become minus dt now log of something we have assumed this value t so we will have t compare this expression and this now the difficulty level of this integration was obviously very high now here the difficulty level is extremely low okay so this is the beauty of this method that whenever you're doing integration this method helps a lot uh, there are tricks how to uh, substitute and which term to be substituted you will come to know in my videos so keep trust guys now this term is how much minus t square by 2 plus some constant c okay integration of t is this much now the only thing left is the value of t need to be put okay and what was t this expression so this will be minus 1 upon 2 and whole square of t and here it is log 1 plus 1 upon x plus some constant c so this will be the answer this is the next question for integration here what is to be substituted this term ko put kare ye basically depend karega hamari ability of differentiation if you know differentiation better certainly you can find the right term more quickly so <coughs> we see that this term x into e to the power x when we differentiate this so we will get some specific term okay which is already we can see here in this integral fine so what happens let x e to the power x this is equal to t now we are differentiating it so differentiation by uh, product rule we will do so first function remains same in differentiation of second plus second function remains same differentiation of first this is dt by dx okay guys now take common so we have x plus 1 dx this side this is dt see guys this value is already there okay e to the power x 1 plus x dx is already there with us and we can easily put this value so this question will become dt whole upon cos square this term is what t and what is 1 upon cos square t 1 upon cos square t is sec square t okay do we have direct formula for this yes of course we have direct formula and sec square t is 10 t so this will give you 10 x into e to the power x plus constant c it was just like direct formula okay so this happens most of the time when we use this method okay so this method is amazingly important in this question 
a and b are constants in terms of cos square and sin square the function is given okay what to substitute we are not getting any clue for that so think about it what can we do for this question something is specific need to be done for this and what is that something is specific if we divide the numerator and denominator by certain quantity can the expression be simplified yes of course let us see so we are dividing here by cos square x okay here also we are dividing by cos square x so the expression will become 1 upon cos square x means sec square x and here it will become cos square will cancel so simply a square plus b square sin square upon cos square is tan square x okay so this is the question now we know that uh, that differentiation of tan x is sec square x so it means we are getting closer fine now again we need to keep this term into the right format and then only we can substitute we take a square common so 1 upon a square is outside so in denominator we have 1 plus b square upon a square and tan square x and in numerator it is sec square x and dx sec square x dx now we can write this term as b upon a tan x whole to the power 2 okay why we require this because now we uh, substitute this value easily and then we get the desirable thing b upon a tan x is equal to t okay when we differentiate we get tan x is sec square x and dx is dt okay you have seen this now what we observe see sec square x only this term was there so we will focus only this term so b upon a constant will be shifted there so sec square x and dx this will be a into dt upon b okay this a upon b constant will be shifted there so this integration will become 1 upon a square is already outside a upon b constant outside dt whole upon 1 plus this is what t so 1 plus t square now do you know the direct formula for this 1 upon a square plus x square is 10 inverse x upon a into 1 upon a fine so here a is 1 1 upon a b 1 upon a b and the formula for this will be 10 inverse t upon 1 okay plus constant c and what is t t was the given term so this is 10 inverse b upon a 10x plus c okay so this is the answer for this question so here uh, just think what can we substitute here it's having power 2 okay let us think about this term first if we assume this value x plus log x is equal to t okay if we assume then on differentiation what we get differentiation of x is 1 and here it is 1 upon x okay so into dx it will be dt so are we getting this term no we do not have this term but we have to make it somehow 1 upon 2 constant can be taken outside x plus 1 upon x okay and this term was x plus log x whole to the power 2 dx so this term is actually 1 plus 1 upon x okay and this term and dx these both two term will give you dt so this will be 1 upon 2 integration this term is gone dx is gone and we have got only dt okay no constant and this is t so we got t square t square is how much t cube by 3 and 1 upon 2 is constant fine into t to the power 3 t means x plus log x whole to the power 3 plus some constant c let us see this question here sin x and cos cube x is given to us and here again if we assume cos x is equal to t then sin x is not in the numerator if we assume sin x is equal to t then cos x is not in the numerator okay so here we have to do something specific something different we have to see here we divide by cos x okay and multiply by cos x this is what we are doing here 
okay there is a specific reason this term will become 10x 10x and this will become cos to the power 4x and cos 4x can be written as cos square x into cos square x fine so 1 upon cos square x means sec square x 1 upon cos square x one more sec square x so we have sec square x into sec square x upon 10x now if we assume 10x is equal to t definitely 1 sec square x dx is there for us but one more sec square x is there which can trouble us we have to remove this sec square x kya kare iske liye so let us see this sec square x can be written as 1 plus 10 square x okay and this sec square x we will remain as such because this will be required for dt and now we have this now if we assume 10x is equal to t just see what happens let 10x is equal to t so sec square x dx is dt so what is happening sec square x dx has gone okay this will become dt this will give us integration 1 plus 10 square means 1 plus t square okay because 10x is t this term is dt and whole upon 10x means t now simplify this this is integration 1 upon t plus t and we have to integrate with respect to t so what is 1 upon t integration this is log t okay plus t integration is t square by 2 plus some constant c now we can put the value this is log 10x plus t square by 2 it means 1 upon 2 10x whole square and plus c here we put modulus for log x because log x is defined only when this term is positive okay so whenever log x is defined this x need to be positive only okay so to make this term positive we always put modulus so i hope in this video uh, you have understood what is substitution method and you have gone through many questions practice more questions on uh, substitution method in next videos i will come up with other significant and important knowledge of mathematics which will help you those who have not subscribed please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can come to know about all the new videos automatically thank you for watching